We do begin with breaking news. Two people are dead and a one-year-old baby is in the hospital after a crash in Madera County. It appears alcohol and marijuana played a role in the crash. Tonight, the California Highway Patrol confirms to Eyewitness News drugs and alcohol did play a role in the accident. It happened on Avenue 9 and Road 40, just minutes away from Valley Children's Hospital. CBS 47's Alexon Balakian joins us live at the hospital. Alexon, this is now a criminal investigation. That's right, Ken, and of course, uh, CHP telling us a strong odor of marijuana and a bottle of alcohol found inside the car driven by the man who collided with the SUV, carrying the man, woman, and baby. The baby rushed here to Valley Children's Hospital. The status of the baby unknown at this hour. Mangled metal and shards of glass, a two-car collision in Madera County, leaving two people dead. During the investigation of the collision, uh, we learned that neither of the adult occupants in the Grand Vitara were restrained by safety belts. Just before 6 Thursday night, an Acura sedan crossed over on Avenue 9 and Road 40, slamming into an SUV head-on, killing the man and woman on impact. CHP says the baby was responsive at the scene. This deadly crash now considered a criminal investigation. CHP says they smelled a strong odor of marijuana from the sedan. Through physical evidence, we learned that he crossed over into the westbound lane and struck the vehicle head on. And yes, it was the alcohol and marijuana that was located in that vehicle. The driver under investigation is said to have major injuries and was taken to CRMC. At this time, it's unclear if the man and woman who died are the baby's parents. If there's a message to this uh, and it's something that the CHP can drive, don't use drugs and drive, and wear your seatbelts. We probably wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for that. And Sergeant Pratt also telling us the driver could be facing felony DUI charges. He's in his mid-30s. The woman and man who died at the scene also in their 30s. You may have noticed Sergeant Pratt visibly shaken by this horrific crash, telling me at the site he knows the man and woman who died. We're live in Madera County tonight. Alexander Balakian, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.